Thank you guys so much. It is September, so make sure to hit that up. But for our first match, it's going to be Jacko Man coming through. He's going to be facing off against the young homie. My first time getting to see him play here. Give T Hawk a gun. Oh yeah, one of our one of our favorites in the chat here, our homie. Always so supportive. But uh, we're going to see what he can do in the game. We know what he can do in the chat. <laughs> of course. So early on, is doing pretty well to navigate. He's got the shield set up, which can be a little dangerous against Ghost Rider, but uh, it depends on how he tries to threaten it. Jackman gets a very nice confirm off of that DP. And with the two supers, should be enough to kill. And the AC and Felicia does take it down. Gonna go for the mix-up, keeps it meaty. Delta kick. That was some pretty good blocks there, honestly. And he gets the air throw. How did he switch aside and get the air throw there? Seahawk yeah, doing such a great job on that one. Gonna be able to kill Felicia. Only one meter, zero meters required. Plenty of resources here to take the rest of the team down, and that's a great cross-up that's not converted. Still picks it up, though. That's one of the most important things in Marvel. If, even if things don't go exactly according to the plan you had in your mind, turning it into a positive situation. Seahawk is definitely able to do that right now, leaving Jocko Man with just X Factor 3 Nemesis. A big shout out to uh, BFGCK Money, by the way, coming through with the sub. Thank you so much for the support, homie. Factor 3 Nemesis, one more touch to do it. Goes for the double cross, a little shimmy there from Jacko, man. I love that. T-Hawk obviously demonstrating good defense earlier. Came in, no buttons, just wanting the block there. Jacko, man, took advantage of that, though, getting those free side switches. The next one, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider actually got a lot done against Nova in that first game. Oh, that was the confirm that T-Hawk needed. What a great walk-up throw, though. Right, he was moving on him, and then he just kind of <laughs> casually walks up and throws. Gonna look to complete the TAC infinite here to kill, uh, kill Mr. Ghost Rider. No, it's just gonna go into rocks, but it's not gonna combo. I'm not gonna lie, that walk-up throw kind of reminds me a little bit of Orange Cassidy. Anybody that watches wrestling knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, getting away with the tag. Not fully able to complete the conversion, though. Great defense from T-Hawk. And then a better swing. Rip push block ends up on a button. Yeah, T-Hawk is definitely taking the more passive strategy, choosing the block here, and then just going for throws when he can get a chance. That's why you saw that whiff H button earlier. Off that Delta kick with the Kitty Helper still involved. Able to get the juggle. That's going to be a dead Nova here. Only one meter required. Jack is still in a great position. It brings in the Ghost Rider to fight Doom. Look at this hit. See how much he can convert into it. He's going to go into the bike. No, just looks for a reset. Going to spend the DHC here for Tiok. Got to be careful about the bike. Yeah, he tilts it upwards and it actually anti airs Doom. And then the toy touch for the conversion. Just getting that kill, getting that charge up. All up to Virgil. There's another great throw from T-Hawk, and that has really how been most of his offense has started. T-Hawk is finding so many throws in great offense, like in great, the best places. Yeah, Jocko Man could do well with uh, spacing his frame traps a little better. Oh, great side switch there. If he spaces him out a little bit, then T-Hawk wouldn't be able to get those free throws. Obviously, throws being one frame. Being able to flip those legs. Still not able to convert it. Jocko Man misses his own. This is not going to kill, but it's going to kill the rest of the X-Factor time here for T-Hawk. A lot of damage here. He can't eat any of those tentacles, but he ate one of those tentacles. Yeah, a couple of them on that jumping heavy. So two to zero now. Jackaman has been clutching it out in these anchor situations. Nemesis has been the one so far. There's a very nice conversion there from T-Hawk. Getting it off the rapid slash. It can be weird with uh, how Nova's diagonal dash works to get there sometimes. Good tech, though, from Jackalman. Aggressive. Had an opportunity to get the hit, but couldn't quite. And Jackalman with a good movement to secure that space. The Fox still hiding behind the shield. Gets the punish on the raw attack this time. Second game in a row, Jackalman has gone for it. T-Hawk, a great adjustment to know it was coming. Not to go for the DHC. Right, 
He's going to go back to playing a little passive here. Looks to stick out the crouching medium, but can't quite find it. I like this pulse he's putting at regular jump by here. That's a pretty interesting pulse, you know? Yeah, I'd say anti-airing delt kick, things like that, but Jackman, not interested in seeing any more pulses here. He's going to be able to take care of Nova. One meter required. Yeah, Nova definitely doesn't have a pulse anymore. Dr. Doom tries to go for the shoulder for the cross-up. Couldn't quite get there, and nice wake-up buttons from T-Hawk. A little more aggression there from T-Hawk there. Um, honestly, I did not expect him to have that button out as soon as he tackled. Wonderful. Felicia missed his time to speed. He got the rapid slash, and this time, the strength of Doom, the best grappler in the game, goes for the hard kick. Option select throw, nice conversion. And this time, actually, is able to secure the throw, so T-Hawk should have this game locked down. Yeah, finally putting himself on the board here. He was very close in a uh, in the first two games, but he just wasn't able to lock it down. Missed input, doesn't matter, still gets the kill. Yeah, gotta have those anchors locked down. So two to one. Team forward here, T-Hawk. Still doing well, as you said. Getting that pull set up again. Tries to dash over. Couldn't secure anything. Oh, the wall bounce there. Okay, and he's actually going to use the bike super this time to try and get the punish. Does not work out, and the human rocket punch is able to escape. Okay, and the Spire. The Spire actually able to anti-air Nova so, so well. Huck, looking to attack from that 45. Ghost Rider, not a lot of options to be able to fight Super Jump Height Doom. Doing well on the runaway. Still it's using that molecular shield. Jackalman doing a good job again with the Spire just to cancel out these uh, the projectiles from Dr. Doom. But two missed conversions from T-Hawk making this a little tougher. Kitty Helper is going to be the move. Expect to see swords. No, he goes dimensional cut. Oh, that is an execution error for sure. Off the missed input here. Virgil is going to be the, the legal man. Raltag actually punishes the Delta Kick. Oh, and he looks for the walk-up throw. Couldn't quite get there. Felicia able to convert it now down to just the anchor Virgil once again. Oh, and the cross-up with the rocket launcher. Jackman spends his X-Factor. Only has two meter, but that's all he's really going to need here. That is going to be the kill. And the set here for Jackman, three to one. A very strong showing here with some with some X-Factor anchor nemesis to boot. And that's what we like to see. Yeah, you can definitely get a hug. You just the uh, low tier shot coming through as well, man, with the two gifts and stuff. Thank you so, so much, dude. Yo, Brazil in the house. Big thank you. Leon Ultimate starting off early. Actually has Virgil Point here. It's going to be the rock. No Nova today, I see. Double snap, though, and is able to secure the hit on Strider. Isn't able to kill, though. And Nick Bad used the opportunity to go for the tag. No reason to go for the conversion. Get that team back in order. I think it's a great call. Oh, an anti-ground kick. Very smart on the down heavy in the air. Okay, so OTG on Virgil, two meters available. That's certainly going to be a kill. Same side, try to pressure Strange as much as you can without overextending. A little frame trap. Don't work out though. Leon Ultimate spending the X. Yes, he is. But another crucial drop here for Leon. Cancel, here's the X-Factor, keeps the same side with Vajra, no conversion, Leon Ultimate answers back, and there's the dead cap. Ooh, Raw Launcher as well here for Dick Bad. Trying to kill the, the Leon Ultimate Strider, yeah, and Vajra does it. So now, Doctor Strange comes in on the meaty, swings, and Dick Bad just gives him enough room to swing. Leon feels comfortable, and a nice whiff punish with the crouching heavy. That slide from uh, <laughs> the slide from Deadpool looking like Nova for a minute there. They're getting into the character select here. Leon Ultimate is actually going to end up back on the Nova. No more Point Virgil. I do like the Point Virgil though. Point Virgil with uh, Strange Bolt is an incredibly strong team. Shots the cake coming through as well. 
<laughs> Cake1403. Coming through with the gifted tier one, man. Appreciate you a lot, Cake. Oh, the mashed jabs. Very good here from Leon. Able to push through. Dude, low tier shot as well with the 200 bits, man. <laughs> Appreciate you a lot. The homies from Brazil. Nick Bad with the three meters built up. Gonna try and cash out to kill Nova. Fall in, he says. And Jamal saying in chat, I actually do agree. I think that uh, I think that Nova versus Cap is actually a pretty even matchup here. Cap does really well against a lot of characters. Looks for the cartwheel mix-up. Good push blocks from Leon Ultimate, trying to gate it. And there's a happy birthday. The Vajra, the Vajra actually cancels out the other assist. That's going to be both characters gone. Nick Bat is going to take a second game in a row here. in a row here for Nick Bad. You can make it three. Good punish on the Vajra just to be able to stop Nova from pressuring him. Got him on the stagger. He's able to convert it off the rocket punch. I really like how Leon was able to play that. Going for the stagger there, just testing Nick Bad, who's been willing to swing that crouching light. After the snap. Unable to get the hit. Nick Bat still here fighting with Strider. Vajra's trade. And Nick Bat gets the tag. Block of the Dolphin Kick. Dude, Ben Kill 94 comes through as well, man. <laughs> ben Kill, appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. That's going to be another dead Nova here. Nick Bat winning the point war once again. And is able to get the double cross up here on Strange. Spends his X Factor, but the shield on the way back actually interrupts his combo. Oh, I love that he can get two supers without having to burn the X Factor here. Tag. Good punish there from Nick Bat. Just a little bit of extra damage. Oh, and the launcher cancel. He's actually able to stop Leon Ultimate from getting his punish. Okay, it looks like he had that push right away, so he definitely would have got a free punish if he had waited his turn there. Ooh, but the orbs doing so much damage. Leon getting the tag out into Strange to try and save his Strider and gets the crumple. And with the timing in X-Factor 3 a little too fast, wasn't able to convert it. Still gets the kill with the super though. Not going to be able to kill off of this touch, has to look for a mix up. Get too much. Nick Bad gets his throw off the teleport. This is the starter he needs. Thank you so much, Jamal, again for the gift of sub. Dude. Oh, blocks the overhead, but couldn't stop the low straight afterwards. Nick Bad, having built up the meter, is going to make this a three to zero. I love that from Nick Bad, man. Duval showing up. You know, I really thought Leon Ultimate had that game wrapped up there, but uh, Nick Bat on up to bat here. He'll be facing off the Mania. Oh, bringing Jacko Man back. Oh, yeah. And also, Jesse coming back here for the first time in a few weeks. Obviously, we saw Jesse get top three at Summer Jam this yes. past weekend. So, uh, Jesse's definitely been on point. We'll see if he can make it happen here on TNS, though. Looks like he's going to be able to. The Pendulum Starter. It's a great way to punish Ghost Rider. The super, GT. Gonna be very close if it's gonna kill. I don't think it does. But what's the mix up here? Log trap just a chip. Knew he was gonna be able to get there. Okay, log trap once again. Every hit here for Jesse. Hey, if log trap is so good, <laughs> spends the X factor to make sure Felicia dies. One more mix up here on Nemesis, and that is going to be the standing jab. Jesse, a commanding start to this set. And that's just sometimes how games can go. That's the nature of the beast with Marvel. You sometimes you get hit once, and uh, the mix up game is a little tough. But Jackman, oh. not out of it. Jackman almost made something happen there. If he could get another hit on Raccoon, or if he had just backed off before Captain got to him, I would love to have seen that. You know, Nemesis comebacks, very rare. Oh, and again the punish there. Racket Raccoon a little too a little too short to be able to actually get hit by Ghost Rider to stop him from the pendulum. And you asked for a lock trap too, you got it. Good block step from Jesse. 
Again, just being patient. No reason to overextend here. If he gets close enough to threaten with his assist, he will. But otherwise, just keep yourself safe from Ghost Rider. Full screen is a very safe place for him. Yeah, gonna go into Kitty Helper. Goes for the super jump just to avoid those potential unblockable situations. Kitty Helper is a high. Does the timer on the hype train reset if you hit the next level? I have no idea. Actually, never, I never have noticed. Never understood a thing about hype train. Yeah, I actually don't know what what it is other than I get free emotes. <laughs> so, right. with her 36 charging stars, okay. able to get the finish here. Dude, load your shot again with the 200 bits, man. Thank you. Ooh, and a great punish on the raw tag here from Jackal Man. Or to get a better mix up, Jesse with a good low block from full screen. Sometimes you forget that he can threaten that low from that distance. All right, super jump over. The bolts actually hits both, but he's not able to convert. Oh, huge charging star there. Blown up Nemesis. Almost caught Ghost Rider there, but just in time, Jocko Man X Factors gets the punish on Captain. Might have a lead here if he can. Oh, no. He just kind of super jumped over Log Trap there. Yeah, I think he thought his assist uh, timer was ready to go because normally he goes for the super jump over with that clothesline rocket. Yeah, Nemesis unfortunately got hit there earlier, so it might have taken a little bit longer to come out. The ghost Spitfire. That actually cancels out Spitfire completely. He's going to lay the trap, which. Oh, it cancels out the super trap? That I did not know. Tried to run him over again. And actually, safe from that distance, Ghost Rider. Living on a prayer, though. Let's see, look at the raw tag. Oh, but at what cost? All the damage down here on Nemesis. Going to spend rock and roll. It's not going to kill, but still. Oh, it's definitely going to kill. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, and it's all but over here for Ghost Rider, unfortunately. You know, I don't I don't dislike the raw tag there. Obviously, Jocko Man was at a disadvantageous position. And if he didn't raw tag, Nemesis was going to come out and eat a mix up anyway. You have a chance of going unpunished with the raw tag there. So, you know, as far as the odds are concerned, I don't think he made a terrible decision there. Even though we would normally shame people for hard tagging of course. in those kinds of situations, I don't think that was a bad decision. That was a percentage play for sure. Yeah, it's it's like the VAT system in Fallout. Yeah, exactly. you, ever, you ever do that? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, that was a 62% hard tag right there. That was pretty decent. <laughs> Jamal again, man. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Jamal. 225 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much, Jamal. I cannot, bruh. Literally cannot even finish. <laughs> can't even, okay, now we're getting the numbers I can't even count. Jamal coming through again. Professor Sacktap and Rama. Rep G, I did not know that uh, I could change the settings for the hype train. Thank you for letting me know that. I will uh, look into that. Wonderland. Back to it. Is Jesse going to be able to close out the 3 0, or is Jackalman going to be able to fight back into this? Three in a row, not undoable here. Good defensive push box from Jacko. Thank you again, Jamal, for gifting us up to W Rice. That's the uh, Ultimate Universe M Rice. <laughs> he said, that. Have you tried switching it to W for Wumba? Oh. Trying again to threaten with the Spire. Jesse doing a great job of, of evading the Spire. The Spire hasn't been really a factor since the first game. And Je it's mostly because Jesse's doing a great job of avoiding it and an even better launcher to follow up. He charging starred one way in the combo and then he goes the other way thanks to Launch Trap. I love it. Almost got the conversion up the raw tag. Trying to get aggressive with Felicia, looking for those cancels. Oh, but Cap on the way down swings that light. Yeah, that was definitely unexpected there. I didn't I didn't even see that button come out until it was too late. Jamal gifted another sub this time to Rusty Akuma. Thank you so much, Jamal. I, I'm pretty sure at this point Jamal is just creating accounts to give subs. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, so another kill on Ghost Rider all down to the nemesis. A familiar situation here for Jacko Man, but he tries to up back, it looked like, and Jesse gets his side switch with X Factor, assuming completed combo. Let's put it down here. Well, he's got X Factor, three meters, he's got everything he could possibly. How many more can you do? I could literally tell an entire story by the time he finishes charging stars. Well, three to zero there for Jesse. And you can see why he got top three at Summer Jam of this course. past weekend among some tough competition. What is Air, what is Ariel's playing? Fight. 
don't know. We'll have to find out here. I do. I do believe it is Melly here on the Deadpool. The u the usual uh, the usual stuff here. Okay, dash up jab, getting the conversion. Right, knockdown. Try to go for the follow up. Ninja tools to try and get away. Ariel went for the standing jab. Couldn't quite follow it up. Tag. Okay, got the conversion there with the grapple, and Ariel's still has it locked down. With the tag, man, I'm liking, I like the idea, like the theory crafting behind having Jill with this squad. Jill really, Spencer fixes all damage issues. If you have a team that has any form of damage issues, Spencer does an amazing job of remedying that, so. Really nice. Uh, for the jump in. Trying to get hit towards can. Can't quite get there, but the standing heavy actually autocorrects. She almost is able to convert that. Beam connecting. Tries to go for the up grapple conversion. A little too high. There's another follow up here for Ariels. Got that up grapple into the arm. Taking the kill. Kelly, now to just Dark Wade. Deadpool, the only one left. Oh, it's gonna be another one here for Ariel. Zip, zip. And he's able to finish that off. Ariel's a very clean start to this set. And again, I'm really liking the idea of having that Jill first. Jill does a great job of being able to actually get hits. Jill is pretty good at just being mobile and securing opening hits. Is more, the damage is a lot of the time the issue. Spencer really fixes the problem. Got the snap. Cross up connects. How do we choose to convert this? Goes for the tag. And Jamal again, man. <laughs> Thank you, Jamal. You guys have been incredible today. Thank you so, so much. Bionic maneuvers. That kill, okay. Ooh, that late grapple up gets the cross up. Couldn't convert it. Melly mashes up with a standing jab. Oh, and Ariel's again, the tech chase just into the low. He is broken though. Another good push block. For the pineapple, is able to interrupt Spencer in his movement. Oh, and another dash of crouching light. Ariel's again. Super to take the kill on Spencer, the DHC into Ghost Rider, Melly. Almost gets Spencer, but he manages to get away by just a hair and the X Factor. Oh, a heartbreaker, very close. Comes in with a super, uses the Bionic Arm to avoid. Very smart here from Ariels, but can't get the punish. Melly, another clean hit, three meters here. Positive matchup on Doctor Doom. Just depends on how she plays it. Jumps in, the alpha counter. Oh, great choice there. Trying to go for the up kick. Get it though. Jump in. Okay, the jump in S. Melly again getting that hit. Oh no, level three was not the option we were looking for though. Oh, the wasted meter, unfortunate for Melly. is gonna lock that one up. Ariel's two to zero. Dude, and Jamal, once again, man. Oh, coming through one more time. That is the answer we were looking for. Thank you so much, Jamal. Melly, okay. This is more what I was expecting here from Melly was the Dante. So we'll see how it works here with the Deadpool. I think jam session can be very, very helpful, against, especially against teams that have Doom, if, they, if he ever ends up on point. Okay. So far, just early evasion from Ariels. Waiting his turn to be able to dash in with that beam. Rapid Slash not able to convert that. And Melly just a hair away. Still able to get on the crouching heavy. Super taking that kill. They're on the way in. So standing jab just mashes it out. Very calculated button presses there from Ariel. And the X-Factor to follow up. Down to just Virgil here, X Factor 3. Bottom on the low. And that is enough to kill here, Ariels. 
three to zero over Melly. Melly, a very strong showing in a lot of the beginnings of those games. The Deadpool looking very good. Jabril, thanks for coming through again. Obviously, big shout out to the homie Fruity Fetus. So here we go. Ace is gonna try and make it happen here. It's gonna be Point Nova this time for Zempool. So he's specifically choosing that. We know he switches point characters depending on the matchup, so here, so comfortable in the Ryu versus Nova. Yeah, I mean, when you're using Nova against Ryu, you definitely are, you're definitely using that superior mobility, you know what I mean? Getting across the screen much faster, taking advantage of situations. So far, just about all the damage he's taken, though, has been just from air-to-air uh, -air light Tatsus, but there's the punish from Ace's great crouching medium. Really well spaced, should be able to kill, but is going to choose to snap instead. Akuma gets the demon flip out and then gets the conversion. Dude, Zempel so on point with knowing when to go for that Tatsu. Amazing block from Aces there on the cross up. And that demon flip once again. Crouching medium is a great option to be able to go for the anti air. He's able to push Ryu away with that chaotic play. I think he might have caught him there. Had the X Factor. Still got Magneto though. Not gonna be enough to kill Magneto. That's gonna oh. be close, but it still does not kill. So Magneto lives to fight another day. And Chow's to Fetus coming through six months of tier one to M Rice, man. Fetus, thank you. Thank you so much, Fetus. One of the biggest supporters of Marvel in its history. Please show me the Fetus in the chat. I need it. So with the X Factor completely gone, Aces running out of time here. Dormammu dying, Magneto coming in. Half-Life already gone. Plenty of meter though, so off of any touch, could be could mount a comeback here. But with the zoning of Deadpool, it might be too tough. Yeah, one bullet at a time is able to chip it out. Deadpool taking that first game. I just beat Mac freaking Nito. Where your curly mustache at? That's the ice. <laughs> Game two. Just laying down that covering fire there with the fireballs. Catches them on the low. How much damage is he even able to get? Ooh, just looks for the throw reset. Couldn't quite get there. Tech forward though. Zempel being very aggressive. Oh, but the aggression not paying off in the end. That counter punch from the EM disruptor. He's able to get the kill on. The Akuma and potentially finish off Ryu here too. And he does a nice adjustment with the dash to make sure he's going to have the right spacing. Check him low. Nova just actually saves the day. That was a, the potential start to the comeback here for Zempool. There's these two teleports now. Have to go for the cross up S. Nice up backs from Aces. The defense holding up, but not. Oh, cannot block forever. That's Sony here. The book, oh, I was going to say, is comfortable just to play the runaway game in the end, but Aces able to turn the heat up. And one meter to get the kill. One to one now. And Kobun, man. Kobun coming through with the five gifted tier ones, dude. Kobun, thank you so much. Got the Tron God? Of course. Yo, thank you so much once again. Five gifted subs. You guys are you guys are ridiculous today. Yeah. Thank you guys. That's pretty unbelievable. All right, so into game three. Let's make this quick. Go for broke. Let's make this quick. A little disrespectfully, no. So early on, with Zempool starting out the Deadpool, it's looking much better here. Just a little more comfortable in that long range game. Have to avoid pretty much everything Aces has thrown at him so far here with the Nova. And Deadpool, honestly, one of the standout things about him is being able to protect his assists so well. He's just always having that pineapple behind, behind him, always being full screen to shoot. But now, he's gonna need a little help of his own. He's going to be enough to kill with the extensions. Ace is in a fantastic position here. Tags and Nova almost converts off the flame carpet, but the standing heavy actually gets low profiled by Ryu. 
Oh, did he get baited? No, he did not. Able to block just in time here. Oh, a second time, this time with the assist. Catches the assist at least. Second meter. Almost enough to kill both. Aces has to spend his X-Factor late. And oh. isn't able to punish Ryu. I didn't realize that it was that safe. Maybe it's because it was the air version. Ooh, try to get him with the side switch. Here's interrupting. Chaotic Flame for damage and to kill some of that X-Factor time. So now, a little more honest here from Zenpool, but still a great advantage. Especially with the Akuma tag in. A much better point matchup here. Oh, no, I don't think Ryu is, is a bad matchup here with the Tatsu assist. Only because of the Tatsu assist here. That's completely fair. Off the throw, missed his opportunity to get the conversion, and then the raw tag from Zempool gets followed up with the fuzzy stuff. Oh, a tall Dormammu. Kind of getting caught out there and exposed with that Tatsu. Really, really tough block there from Aces. Just ending up blocking the standing as any tall character. Kind of a death sentence there. Yeah, and as, like I said, as, as good as Akuma is, you know, and an even matchup, I would say, against Dormammu, having that Tatsu assist behind Ryu, Definitely pays off a little more, as you can see there at the end. JC. I was waiting for the Ryu Infinite. <laughs> Gets the throw conversion. Deadpool making a double appearance here with the OTG assists. <laughs> Super Super DHC. Okay, so now Dormammu has to come in. A lot of work to do. Try and get some charges when he can, but it's very hard to secure charges against Deadpool. He just attacks so many like problematic angles for Dormammu. And he's just doing such a good job rushing him down, missing conversions, but still the pressure has not stopped for a second. Yeah, Aces hasn't left this corner in quite a while. Saying this is not the type of leaving the corner he wanted to see, losing Dormammu and ending in a mid-screen mix-up. Magneto with four meters, definitely capable of making this comeback here. Especially having that X-Factor intact. The Fireball's trading, not really in Ace's favor here. Got to be careful with that health total. He's going to play it safe and solid. It's a dash up. Zempel just getting aggressive just to show that he's willing to and is actually going to use the install to save himself, but can't save Akuma. Yeah, that was a good call by Aces there to use the X-Factor and and take out the assist, but it just didn't work out at the end here. Zenpool too strong with the Ryu play. So, yeah, Zenpool has just been incredible with Ryu uh, since the day we... We'll see if Commander Redfield can keep himself safe here from America. The captain, that is. So far looking good. The flame grenade is seeming like it's going to be probably one of the better tools here. Even though Half-Life has gone on Akuma, but it's still looking pretty decent, especially with that jump back S. Yeah, with Living Legend zoning abilities, honestly, the shield the shield may not come into play as much as uh, Nick Bat would like, but the Strider assist is where it's going to pay off. Yeah. Lock him down with the grenades. The second one actually connecting. Misses his launcher, but still a good situation here for, Levin, uh, for Legend. Get that flame grenade set up. Very nice from Nick Bad. He tries to switch his combo up to make sure he doesn't hit the flame carpet. Doesn't matter. Comes up with a second hit. Pulls this drop. And switch with a forward heavy. Goes a little too far for the throw. So the stun stick comes out. Almost converts from Nick Bad. Nick Bat is dropping everything in this first game, though. He needs to clean it up here. Looking like Clifford Franklin out here with Florida Stick, oh, you know? No. Another finish here. So it is going to be just down to the Strider. For the 2H. Look for the X Factor. Nice block from Legend and great patience to stay away. And he sniped out the orbs. That might just be the end. Or is it? Nick Bat here, definitely not known for his anchor strider, even though he obviously has it on the team. He's he self-admittedly said that he you know he uses it for the assist. Yeah. But uh you know, every dog has his day. Oh, but not this dog, unfortunately. <laughs> Only one dog doesn't have a day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that hazy coming through with the sub. Thank you so much, that hazy. Seven months now.
Y'all make sure to check out that Hazy on Twitch as well. You know, he's streaming that Marvel. Also, check out Coben on YouTube, man. Coben is stepping up his YouTube content. Of course. Say, if you've ever played a set with Coben, he has it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> he thought about him. He has There's, it on YouTube. You're, you're in a thumbnail for sure. Yeah. So it's like you said, the shield throwing is actually not working out too well here for Nickbad. Mostly it's just detonating incinerary grenades in tough positions. It'd be almost more optimal just like that. Let it pop far away and then jump over it. Yeah, you can also charge and start through it, but it's kind of a risk. Yeah, very, very true. So far, Legend has just done a great job of completely nullifying this offense from Cap. And even the wake-up charging star there couldn't get through the grenades. Yeah, not during the super. You cannot use it against the super. You have to you have to do your own super for charging star, unfortunately, and he, he failed to do that. Okay, inside KC to steal some meter. Not gonna be enough to kill unless he X Factors. Yeah, when Wesker and Akuma sit in the back, I don't think he will. Oh my goodness, just this crouching jab four times and then overheads for a reset. The Nick Bat special. Push every button in the book, baby. Nick blocks there so far, crouching heavy, good interrupt. As soon as he saw heavy teleport, he knew he was going to have room to be able to swing. Very smart. And I think Nick Bad saw that blocking wasn't really working out for him. <laughs> so he was like, let me just slide, bro. Yeah, why not? Kuma for the DP, he's able to block it. Blocks the can opener, that forward medium. Oh, but the teleport's a little too much. Launcher on the same side. One more touch will do it here for Legend. He's about to get posterized, and he does. Mashes after the block there. Living Legend with a frame trap mid-air. You ever frame trap somebody air to air? That's yeah, something else. That's odd. Maybe it was Nick Bad trying to uh, potentially tech a, uh, a mistimed guard break because of the push block timing. He could have gone for a throw. Yeah, I think he was swinging, though. Two to zero now, still for Legend. Nick Bad actually able to work him to the corner really quickly this game. Things are looking pretty decent here. Stryer's able to hit and he's able to convert it. First time we're going to see potential win of this, uh, the point war, but no, he gets away. Yeah, that Vajra assist is going to make all the difference. It's the way to lock him down. Even if it doesn't hit, just make him stop for a second there. Obviously, the horizontal isn't going to work out for you against Living Legend. Attempt to go for the chip. Good timing on the tag. Super's gonna hit, but he's not gonna kill. He's not gonna be able to X Factor either. Yeah, he gave up half health on Deadpool, but it's definitely worked to keep your team intact there. It's so already kill, paying off. Yeah, especially to kill both characters here with the teleport. So now both teleports have been used. Deadpool, be careful about how you use your resources. Ooh, and a nice little frame trap there. Crouching medium into crouching light. That was an incredible block from Legend and a better, oh dude, the X-Factor was so smart. That setup works against anybody that doesn't have an invincible super, <laughs> but not this time. Picked the wrong guy to fight against. All right though, Nick Bat still with a chance here. Going across, gotta be careful of these fireballs. Punishes the Tatsu, Nick Bat, very experienced in the matchup here against Akuma and Wesker. That's a, uh, <laughs> facing off against his other hometown here. Has a lot of practice in that. Yo, Jamal coming through with the gift sub. Thank you once again, Jamal, for the 100th time today. Chow Main coming through with a big thanks to Foodie Fetus for making that possible. Big bad. Back at it again. Half the life gone on Chris. Oh, and he gets him the raw roll. Something we see from Nick Bat quite often when he's playing confidence, when he's able to be in his zone. Oh, and the cr oh, dude, the anti ground kick. Wesker just gets caught straight out. Another super has plenty of meter to DHC, but he's going to choose to keep his team in order with that X Factor. And then backs off is going to give Living Legend a little room. Maybe too respectful here. Teleport. Pick up away and another good push block. Has to be careful for the Tatsu follow up. Doesn't get one, and there's the hit. Living Legend. 
Okay, set himself up full screen, gets the cross up. There's a trade though. Nick Matt is actually able to escape because of it. Oh, and the can opener once again. Down to the anchors here. Nick Bad fighting for his life. Gets the throw. Missed his OTG. Oh, a heartbreaker for Nick Bad. And then the follow up Tatsu. Oh, this is going to be a, actually going to be a kill as long as Living Legend is able to finish the combo. Akuma, one of the highest damage solo characters, keeping it in the corner. Is three to one there in favor of Living Legend. Signs of life and good showing from Nick Bad, but Legend a little too much in the end where uh, Nova doesn't need Spencer to kill things, which is really, really cool to see for Nova, see the, the diversity of the team comes. <laughs> Real good with the 100 bits. Appreciate you, man. Scrobeck's definitely in the conversation. Scrobeck says, yeah, definitely yeah. with the uh, the best performance a scroll has ever had. Um, okay, he's going to go into the loop. Oh, and gets the reset, so it looks like Skrull Spawn. Gonna have to, doesn't actually need to make a block to get away. Gets away with the Human Torch. And had to, yeah, had to X-Factor so he was, didn't get punished. Flocker overextends below him, but he can't get the kill. Oh, standing heavy, potentially was going for a command grab there. Yeah, he looked like he was going for some kind of setup and missed, but uh, Flocker just came out with raw S. Not something you'd expect from Flocker there. Yeah, usually a little more reserved in those situations. Pick up the follow up and just go straight into the super. Here's one great DHC. I understand DACing out scroll in a situation where you still have X Factor, but without it, I don't know. I think a lot of it comes down to which assist he's playing as well. Because Dr. Doom can utilize some of those assist super. Oh, but we're not even going to get to see it. Blocker securing another hit and having his own X Factor intact should be is on the roadmap to success here. Scroll Spawn was definitely in a position where if they had called assist just before they whiffed the foot die, that actually would have resulted in a crazy happy birthday for him. But uh, now they're just looking at a desperate situation here. Three meters left can definitely kill with an optimal combo, but uh, there we go. 16 rolling hooks. Gonna go to, for the super, it's not gonna get anything, but he is just safe on the way down. Ooh, and the Stinger follow-up. Blocker taking the first one. And not the strongest first game, but of course, you know, the string definitely gives you a little bit of nerves there, so we'll see if Scroll Strong can put it back together. Ooh, Blocker trying to piece this back together. Nice on the late buster for the conversion. This is a lot of what we saw last game. Was able to get the early kill on Nova when Scroll came in, was able to Wiggle his way out of the mix-up and uh, get something started. See if Skrull Kong's Bonk can do it again. Goes for the reversal super and is able to keep himself safe. Crouching heavy. Oh, is actually beat out in the air. Great air-to-air -air for Flocker. Skrull Spawn was going for that 2H in the air, which is usually a good option. Uh, it did it after the super and was able to net a hit last time. But Flocker with another draw. And this time it's gonna go for the tag once again. Oh, and Flocker with the dirty mix up on the tech chase, able to catch Stroll Spawn standing. So, a very difficult position here for Stroll Spawn. Going for the high loops instead of the, uh, the Tiger Knee ones. A little more consistent on those. And a masterful, masterful conversion off of the sword. Still able to follow up, though, with the buster. I like that from Blocker. The contingency plan. Yeah, extremely dominant performance there in game two. Scroll spawn definitely has to make something happen here. Hopefully with the scroll. That's what we'd like to see. Yeah, that or Nova really got to get some gas, and there is the start. Able to get the hit on zero. Should be able to kill. Oh, no, not quite. So maybe we would have had to go for a TAC to be able to finish it. So back to neutral here. You got a favorite flocker with that zero team. Just having zero in neutral is never what you want to see. We need this guy in hit stun. Oh, and 
Snipes out Hawkeye there, and is he bait? No, Flocker able to jump right out of there. Scroll in play. Oh, scroll out of play, unfortunately. Yeah, we've seen a couple drops here from Flocker, though, so he's able to keep it together. The happy birthday makes it harder, especially when Doom dies. This slowdown, very difficult to convert. And he's able to get it. It comes at a really fortunate place for Flocker, but he still gets the wake up super. Okay, so X Factor is ticking. Scroll spawn is going to leave the Nova in. Good block there from Flocker. Gets the punish, it looks like, with the Stinger. I don't know if that was an actual punish there or if Scroll spawn was actually starting to get offense going and uh, ran right into it. But he had enough time to recover there, especially with X-Factor. Yeah. Swing the S on the way down, gets the hit. Couldn't convert though, and Hawkeye off the raw tag. So smart from Flocker to know that was an option. And that is three to zero for Flocker, looking as dominant as ever. So a very, very strong showing there, obviously, from, uh, from the Hawkeye Lord with the 6,000 subs. All right, finally getting started here. Jesse, we saw a pretty clean game in the first set earlier today. Let's we'll see if they can keep it going against Prodigy here. Yeah, this is another one of those weird matchups where Magneto, I do think, has a slight advantage over Cap, but Cap has some very unique tools to keep Magneto off of Magblast and get punishes like that. Good dash up with a strange assist. Yeah, that Bolts call, man, makes all the difference. Bolts is definitely a little bit sneaky at times compared to Beam or anything else. Yeah, he doesn't talk until he shoots. So <laughs> it's really, really tough to hear sometimes. I know a lot of people use audio cues for that. It oh. gets the conversion off the raw tag? Is that intentional? Did he know, did he know that was going to happen? I got to assume. He looked like he knew exactly. He knew. Oh As a flag God. on the play for unnecessary roughness, by the way. Phoenix getting tossed around by that trap. Heading <laughs> after the play, bro. Okay, so Prodigy going to be the one to start this time. Gets the TAC. See how much meter he can build up off of this. All right, Jesse up 1-0, though, already. And so it looks like he's going to end this off with Cap Dead. Four meters already acquired. Prodigy. Game winning position here. Good rocket skate to escape though from Jesse. Oh, and the ties look like they're turning. Phoenix is confirmed here, unless he has some anti Phoenix tech. But the rest of the team is going to die. All right, two characters down and two subs gifted by Ender. Thank you so much, Ender. One of the TOs here at TNS. To the absolute homie. Good interrupt there from Prodigy. Actually, the overdrive beats out Strange's move. I'm really surprised we didn't see an X-Factor after the overdrive, but uh, might pop it here. There it is. All right, so killing Strange. Rocket Raccoon is a good character to fight if he can get traps set up before he pops. Oh, no, not going to get a chance here. One of the quickest teleports in the game, if not the quickest. And that follow-up, so much damage provided. And lost and confused, man. Come with a three as well. Big shots to Lost and Confuse. The Prodigy. Back at it, trying to stay a little higher in the air this time. Doesn't want to get uh, clipped by that strange assist. Ooh, but Jesse jumps up to meet him. Great on the air throw. And Prodigy with the presence of mind to use that EM Disruptor to stop the log trap. And they're gifting four subs. Well, we got two, three, and four in a row here. Yo, big shout outs to Ender. Thank you so much, Ender. So Prodigy tried something that was maybe one of the smartest things I've ever seen that just didn't quite work out. He used Force Field in reaction to the Log Trap Assist, but it actually didn't trigger it. Oh my goodness, lost and confused coming through with five. So how you get? How you gonna give four after I give three? <laughs> That's an asshole move. <laughs> Big shots to lost and confused coming through with another five. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, now making it rain out here. So Prodigy, five meters, already secured. I mean, DHC in here from Jesse. He's not going to X Factor. He's going to hold on to it. Ender said, "Stop, please." He said, "Get some help." 
not trying to auction at all. Oh my god, there's the six from Ender, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you a lot. Ender with a combined 12 gift subs in five minutes. Jesse is going to be able to get the extension here. Try to go for the reset and does get it, but can't quite finish. Lost and confused at seven. I raise you one, good sir. This is like a, this is like a cartoon game of poker right now. Prog said, nah, 10. <laughs> Prog said, get out of here. Dude, Prog, thank you. Oh, my God. Lost and confused. And the thank you guys so much for the ridiculous amount of support. Prog coming through as well. Thank you, guys. Coach Steve, I saw your question in the chat. Yes, we will be having an LCQ as far. Oh, no. Hit the down H before the super there. Unfortunate for Ooh. Prodigy. And Jesse hits him. Oh, dude, the long trap straight away. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Cider coming through it. Three months of tier one to Shadows Abyss. My favorite Cider. science nerd in here. You have to three, three months? Dude, Ender conceding. He said, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Either way, thank you so much, Ender. Thank you, Lost and Confused. Thank you, Prog, Signer, all of you guys. Good knowledge for Prodigy to know how high he had to fly to stay away from the Log Trap. Rock and Roll almost gets both. Only going to get Doom. I like Jesse going for that super there, knowing that he couldn't get there in time to be able to convert without anything else. Okay, skating down, medium, almost able to convert from Prodigy. It's an odd one for sure. The trap doesn't get the whiff punish. It's just such a marvel thing that I love. Whiff punishing with supers. <laughs> looking forward with the trap. Gets the tag in the strain, so has the order that he's looking for now. I like what Prodigy is going for here. Definitely staying way above, oh no, but finally Jesse punishes him for it. Prodigy was doing a great job, and that strategy works really well against Raccoon. You know, staying out of the bolt swings and stuff like that, but you know, Doctor Strange will just snipe you out. Prodigy definitely needs this hit here. Definitely is gonna have to pop X. No? No X? He's gonna do it at the end, I think. Yeah, he usually likes to save it, so he has maximum X Factor time. If it does get into a long drawn out, drawn out fight. Oh, and the X Factor, I think that Jesse maybe thought he could anti-air that or was gonna low profile. It was very committed to, I think that was maybe going for launcher. Yeah, if anybody could low profile it, it would be Raccoon, but not this time. Maybe at certain angles here. Oh, and the reset. So brave of Prodigy to go for that kind of reset against a Captain America in general. So strong. He looked like he was at the sample platter there, just trying a little bit of everything. Finally settled the one he liked. All right, so it's gonna be another one of those situations. Captain America's dead, four meters built up. We've seen Jesse win one of these already. But two against a player of the caliber of Prodigy, a tall ass, especially with Raccoon potentially dying here. No, he does escape. Jesse still in a workable position here. Two characters that absolutely can fight Dark Phoenix, assuming the correct condition. But spending all this meter to kill Magneto, Gonna have to make sure it's one thing you preach all the time. You have to bank up meter before Phoenix pops. It's so important. Yes, I always say it. You need meter just as much as Phoenix does. Maybe you don't need five, but you need three or four on deck if you want to fight her. It's gonna be the snap, gets the cross up and the hit. So, how much can he build up before he gets into the situation? And this is actually gonna be great. Rock and roll pops him. The last bullet is coming. Uh, unfortunate though, Jesse is all out of meter. If Jesse had a couple meters here, he'd have been able to DAC out, but that's not the case. Okay, he still has one meter here. Able to catch Phoenix? No! Puts away. That was the last bullet in the chamber for him. Prodigy almost had the hit confirmed there. Oh! Almost got him again! Jesse's been so close so many times. Is this super enough to chip? It is! Okay. Should have gone for Super Dare of his own. Oh, the best counter call. Uh, the cross up there from Jesse. It's going to be enough to kill three to two over Prodigy. Jesse makes it happen. So 
it looks like this is Mundank here. He's going to be facing off against Aerials, it seems. Ariel sticking with his team here. Ariel's normally plays Captain America uh, and Iron Man, but going with the Jill this time around. A lot of people in chat were saying the first time he played the uh, the, the the team on stream that he's been playing it in casuals all week, and apparently he's been messing people up. So he's got a lot of confidence in it, and for good reason. Tag from Nova in. Oh, that is the mix-up that Mundank has done so well from the beginning. That cross-up is really just the, <laughs> his love child of a mix-up. Super is enough to kill. Dr. Doom. That H actually missed. And a perfect counter from Aerials. Oh, no. The legend continues. Go. Oh, same side. What respect from Mundink. Oh, getting Mundink to block on incoming like that is so crucial, but he isn't able to OTG. A missed opportunity there from Aerials. He's dashing too. That's a punish. Aerials still in a positive situation here, even with the X Factor out five meters. Mundink really going to be looking to get that two whenever he can. To potentially get the DHC in Dispenser. There's a lot of options on the table. I like this from Ariel. Safe and solid. Monday not calling any assists. Gets the air to air. Misses his full conversion though. So now Shockwave for the chip. Second Shockwave seals the deal. Level three, not close enough. And that was smart from Aerials. As far as decision making goes, that was as good as it really got for him. Try jumping down and trying to get the level three was the only possible option to survive that. So good on Aerials to know his options in front of him, but uh, better from Monday to know that uh, he didn't have the space for it. Oh, Monday, the crouching medium hunts him down, gets both. This time it looks like it's gonna be the anchor Spencer is gonna be called down. Dying after the OTG. 119. Oh, and the same side mix up it looked like there from Monday. Is actually going to close the second game out on a perfect, I do believe. A dominating second game from Monday. Said, don't you guys dare spam those three letters in my chat. <laughs> And Ariels is going to swap. So this is what we normally would expect from Ariels. This is the main team for sure. And I think this team does better than, uh, than Jill does. Captain America can definitely blow up some Nova stuff. Oh, there we go. Once it's just starting off the match with Charging Star there. Yeah, very ballsy forward, uh, forward heavy there from Monday in the attempt. Good second jump to make sure that was going to work out. Ariels with the confirmed impressive stuff early on. All right, so Ariels thinks that Magneto is the problem here. Definitely going with the X Factor. I like it. It doesn't matter who you kill. As long as you kill somebody, kind of make the team a little bit weaker. Spencer, though. Spencer has definitely been the, the golden boy for Monday. Okay. Got the grapple anti-air. Be able to kill here with maneuvers. Plenty of meter to do it. Okay, and he's gonna go hard drive. Okay, and the rocket punch is able to do it. So Ariel's gonna need more than one touch here, unless he can get that. Uh, unless he can get that TAC. Here goes Monday. Missed his opportunity on the OTG. And overhead worked out. There's the kill on Sentinel. Okay, and another follow-up. Dude, Mundank, three to zero. It started here is gonna be Deadpool. And he's gonna be starting the Deadpool. And off against Milky, happy birthday. Almost converted, only gets Dante. 
Rookie gets to pick up with the throw. Draw tag into do. It's certainly enough to kill Deadpool. He's gonna build up a ton of meter, and here comes the team super. on the way down. Deadpool never afraid to swing and for good reason. Great button placement. Not to go for the DHC. Instead is going to look for the snipe and actually gets Milky trying to DHC out. And the cross underneath. This time I expect to see the DHC. Yeah. Oh, and what a dude, the knowledge to know he can convert that. So he's going to have Akuma on point. Oh, and Milky's going to dash underneath to get the punish. That, there's no way. There's no way that works like that. I refuse to believe he gets launcher standing light, brother. Brother, please. <laughs> I have actually, no, I watch a lot of Marvel, I've never seen that before. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Milky. Oh, it's so sick. I love that. So going into game two after a disgusting display there from Milky on that final mix-up. Look for the throw. Deadpool is going to get the conversion. He's not going to be able to kill, so he's going to need to snap or potentially go for the reset. Yeah, he's going to look for damage. Trying to force Magneto off the point. Trying to make Milky make a hard decision here. Oh my! The smoothest movement. Just skating in is Milky with the conversion. And a very clean way to end that, going into the disruptor. Oh, man. Milky extra extra today, and I'm really liking it. This is a very confident Milky we're seeing today. Oh, but Zempool, the same amount of confidence to follow up. It's like absolutely swinging with their hearts out here. Able to get the kill. It's all down to Magneto. Almost no life left. Doesn't really matter the life total here. Got the punish with the crouching heavy. Oh, and again, the cross up Milky has still made it happen. Zempel twice in a row has brought these games to very manageable positions. But Milky has been a little too clutchy. And Railgun comes through again. Tier one sub to Art Resident Man. Railgun, thank you so much for everything that you do, buddy. That boy actually isn't going to tag into the Ryu. Be able to block the jabs when he comes down. Oh, and another try jump, opening it up. Okay, that's something we normally see from Zempo is if he sniffs out that try jump, he loves to go though for those invincible reversals with the DPs, the traditional Street Fighter style. But with the drop, Zempo actually gets the tag out. Jab into the overhead, nice blocks, but the Tatsu keeps it a little too locked up. He's gonna be able to kill Magneto, so Zempool sitting on the lead this time. Just standing heavy, oh the trade almost gets both Milky unable to convert that. I think the only way from there is maybe the Bucktooth, but it still was very difficult from that height and the cross up with the super. The teleport, looks for the snap. Oh, and another one of those tricky side switch situations. Those camera tricks are so hard to deal with. Oh, and the bull jump. I think he bull jumped on reaction to the, uh, to the X Factor there. Potentially hammer able to close it. Milky, three to zero. And seeing some of that mid-level Marvel, I'd love to see that, man. Big shout outs to everybody that support Marvel, man. Dude. Especially if you're holding it down for the amateur scene. Oh, yeah. Get more players involved. That's what we love.
Hulk versus Nova on the point matchup can be very difficult here. Two Max has a lot of practice in the matchup as well. Liberal Terminator, though, coming off of uh, the, the the sickest tournament run we've seen from him, at least in TNS. Yeah, uh, Liber Ter Liberal Terminator is actually the reigning champion right now of TNS after uh, coming off a hot win last week, resetting against uh, uh, Little Monix. And oh no, too many buttons for even Hulk to deal with there. The armor gets beat out. A big shout out to Gift Tiaka Gun. Coming through with 100 good stuff. Thank you so much. That's fear side for my favorite cover. <laughs> Nova got crossed him up with the beam. Okay, so two to Max's team. Falling apart here once Hulk goes down. It might come down to Wackba, which is incredibly difficult here against the team of Liberal Terminator. So reverse finishes. Okay, so it's gonna be all down to Robot, like I said. And yeah, I like that you're saying in the chat. Fun fact, Liberal Terminator is like 16 or 17 years old. He is a, a young gun out here, just gunning everything down, including the Sentinel. Oh, the Sentinel's got one more chance at it, though. Avoid the board coming through at 400 bits. Okay, okay, thank you so much. All right, Spencer goes down here. Dr. Doom foot dives on the incoming to the max, able to block, though, and gets the air throw right afterwards. Easy kill for him here, I'm sure. And now let's see. I see Noth asking about the uh, Nova tutorial. Let's see if Liberal Terminator has uh, watched any of it yet. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Tried to go for the command throw. A little too obvious from that. It's a, it's a very tough one. The command throw is like, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better term, li apply liberally, right? You got to be careful yeah. about it. Yo, BK Bam coming through with five gift subs. Thank you so much. Definitely applying the subs liberally. <laughs> Thank you, man. The rocket punch to get him out of trouble. Liberal Terminator follows up with a crouch medium. Great timing there, but couldn't convert the combo. Okay, he's able to gain a charge out of the Centurion Rush. Tried to go for the low twice. Terminator not biting for a second. Maybe one too many low attempts there. I'd like to see him, you know, push some bigger buttons. Maybe he's uh, stand medium, stand H. Can never go wrong with H. Oh, Ooh. speed tackles into a throw there. Dude, the presence of mind from Terminator to know he was going to be able to scoop him up straight out of that. Okay, the super in the DHC. Another one of those situations. Tudor Max has shown he's more than capable, but is he going to get the chance? Three meters has a hard drive and a dream. Yo, BK Bam doing the combo, another five gift subs. Did you click it twice by accident? Dude, BK Bam, man, thank you. Thank you so much, oh my goodness. Tried to cancel on the super, it does not work out. Liberal Terminator taking another one down. Make this two to zero now. In favor of our Nova Prodigy. Liberal Terminator here showing you why he won last week. Dominating performance right now. One more thank you to BK Bam, though, coming through with five more gifted. Your ten totals with BK. Thank you. For, appreciate you a lot. And the cake recipe. Again, the wake of crouching medium from Liberal Terminator has just gotten a disgusting amount of mileage. You already know this team composition does way more than enough damage to deal with anything, having that Spencer assist and the raw tag. So going into maneuvers here, it's going to be Hulk down, Nova to come in. Nova Drone's very strong, though. It's more about the tough part is getting established to use your drones. Or just getting out of the mix up here, party time. That's definitely a more unique party time setup than I normally see. Okay, TK Beam to extend to build meter. Able to build another full meter off of that because the extension's gotta keep it optimal. There's a reason. Now for the third time, we have a big ask here for the robot. Gonna get a start with a super here. Level Terminator not flinching at all though. Oh, oh, went for the jab command throw there. A little too much block stun from the jab didn't work out. Okay, 
Turns that forward, looking for the normal throw maybe. No, he's blocking, smart. Oh, and the raw <laughs> S works out perfectly for two to Max here. Oh, so, so smart. Still 10 more seconds of X Factor left. Definitely more than capable. Went for a jump back H Miru there. Just a little missed time, but it definitely would have worked. Oh, he might go for a hard drive here. Does he have the DHC? He does. And this will still work. Okay, so that's the punish. Standing Light to pick it up. Plenty of meter. He'll kill Doom on one touch here. And this is actually a better situation for Tudor Max here, actually, because uh, Doom, I feel like, is an easier matchup. Never mind. Yeah, I think that a lot of the time you can do a great job of sniping Doom out of the air with those jumping mediums, but Terminator not giving him a chance to show us. He's going to close it out three to zero. And Noxa closing out the level five hype train with 10 gift subs. This is a nice team here. I actually really like this. Oh, me and Angelic in a, in a match? Hey, I'm about that. I love playing against Wolverine. His shoe will body me, though. <laughs> Max Lavenue is going to be playing the Hagar here with quick work, and he has shopping cart. Okay. Able to get the throw. So my interest here is, how's he going to level? There's how he's going to level Frank. That was going to be my question, is how do you get the levels here with this team comp? Oh, no levels this time, though. Drop the combo, unfortunate. Skull going to be able to open it up. Three meters already built up before the extensions. Oh, backed off there? Really surprised. Look for reset. Slapping able to get the tag. Hagar back in. This is another one of those point matches. Oh, oh my goodness. Katana Rama assist? I know it worked like that. <laughs> From a distance, the, the tricky low. Okay. Oh, punishes the rolling hook on the tech forward. And quick work does a good job of getting the extension. And I like the way back slapping you actually saves the ground bounce on the conversion so you can get it for the extension. That was good. And another extension here. Should be enough to kill. Looks like it. Gets one more. No, oh. he does not. Scroll actually gets away. Yeah, that's actually kind of a, a terrible team super there, unfortunate. Yeah, it sucks when your team just... Oh, no, Lariat? Yes! Good call there from slapping. And he's going for the light on the way up quite consistently. I wonder if it's uh, like for scaling purposes or maybe it's just the, the preferred route. Uh, it, it does. It's actually worse for damage scaling, but uh, it is a little bit better for consistency. Sometimes yeah. Hagar can jump a little bit uh, further ahead, depending on the situation. Oh, my goodness. But he jumps this time right into the arms of Super Scroll. Might be seeing something here. Super Scroll comeback, maybe. It's the first kill. Ooh, dashed backwards and tried to go for the command throw. And the ground command throw was a good read. Oh my goodness, did he throw <laughs> through the shopping cart? <laughs> wow, okay. So, four and a half meters now. Any touch will do it. Are we gonna get a death penalty here? Might have to be the move. It gets it with the, the jumping 2H. Oh, uh, what another extension here. And death penalty? No. No, look for the reset with the second jump. Oh, and just... Hail marries the death penalty, it does not work out. That reset was not a great idea against Deadpool, who does have a double jump. Yes. So against a lot of other characters, that like Sandy reset, like you said, very, very good. Deadpool, a little tough one. This will be the first one. Favor of slapping you here. For neutral jump. Trying to stay away from the shield. It's looking pretty good. Doing a good job of using his body to break those shields, as you should with Hagar. Very important to know how to do. And a better Lariat timing. To Dash get up beam. Lariat. Dude, to get through the beam. Okay, I like this. I like the way he was able to get two camera shots there with Frank. Trying to go for the dash up super. Maybe trying to catch him doing something after the snap. Yeah. I mean, back slapping you. Hasn't really swung a lot of buttons coming in, so... Okay, got the tag into scroll. Larry assist, almost able to blow out scroll. And another conversion there, jumping down heavy has been working out beautifully. Oh, and the hard tag once again beats out the read. He's gonna go for the Larry to keep himself mostly safe. And then the DHC, it's perfectly placed from back slapping you. 
Oh, once again, jumping. Got caught with the air command throw. The reads are just coming out. X Factor's gone now. Ooh, backslap and he gets the punish from that height. Super, DHC's into Frank. Is gonna X Factor. That's gonna be max level here for Frank, but it doesn't matter, the standing heavy. He didn't commit though. Oh, not committing off of that is a heartbreaker. He had the whole team. Frank able to roll under the rocket punch. Connects, couldn't get anything afterwards. Foot dive, also close, but not quite. Ooh, is that, is that an unblockable there with the jumping chainsaws with quick work? Oh, dude, what a showing there. Team Super to follow through. He's gonna kill Doom. No, he gets away. Okay. All right, trying to swing that zombie. Oh, and the counter hit swinging straight afterwards. Scroll not able to make it work. So that, again, is two to zero now. Back slapping you. Spot piece is able to make it work. It's going to be potential. Oh, so the swap now. Skrull Spawn is actually going to end on the uh, the apology man here, it looks like. Dude, shots to Isisera coming through as well. And, uh, by way of Fruity Fetus. Big shots to Fruity Fetus as always. Skrull Spawn going with the big boy team here. <laughs> Top tiers are coming out. Oh. Yeah, Luminous Body immediately gets blown out. It gets the punish though on the leg drop. Able to use that ground bounce well and converts off the tenderizer. Looking very practiced here for Skull for Skull Spawn. And the reset. That's the second reset we've seen already against Hagar. Hagar, you definitely need to reset against. And he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to snap him out, which makes a lot of sense here. Hagar, a big problem, still alive. Go with the HC out, so there's gonna be Frank West coming in next to fight. Hard to blockable into the knee drop, and he's able to pick it up with the Lariat. Again, really nice on the team composition. I love how it flows for these OTGs. Yeah, he's doing a really good job making use of what he has on his team here. Yes. Not the most conventional team, of course, for Black back slapping you. Go for the roll, the foot dive. Actually ah. traded out, he lost Hagar. Yeah, really works out in Scroll Spawn's favor here. And an excellent X-Factor timing. Kill Frank West here, our faithful Mega Man. We wanted to go down. There was one. That's slapping you. Gonna have to do it just with Deadpool. The foot dive connects and he converts it. Very good from Scroll. Say that was just a well constructed mix up and a great way to convert that. I mean, if you're gonna play Tenderizer, you need to know how to make it work into a full combo off from anywhere. It seems like Scroll Spawn is definitely a lot more comfortable with this team than they were with the previous team. Oh, never mind. Hype for both of them. Backslapping you builds up a ton of meter. Like we said, though, this Team Super is not too great, so we'll have to see how it works out. Oh, with Deadpool in the mix, though, it might be a lot better of a Team Super now. And it is. There's the conversion. I'll scroll the namesake coming into fight. He's gonna cancel into human uh human torch. Oh, excellent cancel there. Great bait. Is he gonna be able to do anything with it? Oh, tenderizer in the super? No, he just gets a yeah. ground bounce afterwards. Yeah, he's able to fully follow it up. Spends the super this time. He's not enough to kill, but he dashes backwards. Giving space to Hagar. He's gonna grab him out of that like he did last time. Oh my goodness. Every I've seen it before already this set. <laughs> It still amazes me. He is going to cash out on the death penalty here. So, backslapping you coming in has X Factor, so he's not going to be able to, uh, available to get chipped out. Yeah, I don't think he needed the level three there because he still had X Factor. No, too many command throws, and you're going to get punished for it. X Factor for backslapping you. That's going to be more than enough here. Certainly getting the kill, and that is three to one. Scroll had a couple opportunities, but they didn't quite come up his way. 
Ariel said, it's, it's still it. happening. It was like Ariel's is trying to break the record here. Big shots to Ariel's, one of our favorite players to watch. Shots to the Canadian Marvel scene as well. Oh, and able to still keep it going with the side switch. Sucks to have a big body like Holt. Oh, good block there, and lands and just goes for the throw. Uh, a lot of confidence there in the attempt, but doesn't get the conversion. The tackle actually hits him on the same side. Didn't get anything to follow up. Coach Steve back on the advantage, but chooses to super jump away. I like that. Coach confident in himself when he resets to neutral. He's able to get the jab. Uh, Chrome Explosion coming through with a gift sub. Shout out to Chrome Explosion, one of TNS, uh, TNS TOs. Just give this up to uh, James Chen, just the homie. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so he killed Dr. Doom. I don't know if you know this, but James Chen was a Felicia player. Yeah, I used to watch. I used to watch them play back in the day. All right. Oh, and that big age coach taking a, a little, a, a couple too many liberties there. Clap for it. Two to Max still in a good situation here and a great incoming. Oh no, better X Factor from Coach Steve though. And I think canceling straight to launcher there is actually a good call there from Two to Max. Usually, Coach Steve able to punish still with a better X Factor timing. Yo, Ramora gifting a sub to Soldier Boy. I don't know if that's the actual Soldier Boy, but that was, uh, that's still pretty dope. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? Uh, he just streams on Twitch. Is that his tag? Pretty sure. Oh no, no way. He probably looked him up. <laughs> <laughs> Big shots to Ramora gifting the sub, though. Thank you so much, Ramora. Oh, and there's the kill. Tunamax on the comeback. One to zero over Coach Steve now. Yeah, Coach Steve definitely had the advantage early on, but uh, yeah, Tunamax definitely was able to avoid a lot of Coach Steve's tricks. One thing you'll see Coach Steve go for quite often is he'll go for the, oh, never mind. He's going to go for the happy birthday and kill two <laughs> characters. Say. That's what you'll see him do quite often. Killing Sentinel, Holt into the maneuvers. Okay, and that's going to be killing the point character as well. So down to just the anchor Nova. Plenty of meter for some shenanigans here if he so chooses. Oh, but the jabs. Able to catch out to the max here, trying to push buttons. And with the second meter built up here. and Oh, no, he's got Nova in the back. Though. Still should be able to kill, no problem. Oh, for sure. Coach Steve ties it up with the quickness here. I was going to say, one, one trick Coach Steve does quite often, he basically invented this. He'll regular jump with Nova and the air dash up, call the assist, and do a raw S. So by the time you think you can punish or try to block and punish, you're having to block the raw S, and he's he's plus frames, or you get hit by it, and he's able to take advantage of that. So. Yo, shout out to Allison G in the chat, one of the homies, the president of the Remora fan club. We hadn't seen you in a minute. Hey, absolutely always a pleasure to have the president around. Go again. Oh, got him with the back hitbox there of the Gamma Charge. And a crouching light there from Q to Max to open Coach Steve up. Q to Max loves to go for the low. He's so consistent with finding ways to do it, with, too. Like, Hulk is kind of immobile in a lot of ways. Always just closing the distance to get close enough to threaten it. Oh, but the air light gets bionic arm. Coach Steve here on the comeback trail, I'm sure. Okay, he's gonna go maneuvers. Wants to have the uh, the time after the animation to go for the setup. He dashes down, actually gets a hit on Steve here. Having his X Factor intact, getting the extension. Oh no, that does not work out. Two S's in one combo. Once it gets that length, not gonna work. Get the jab. Coach Steve absolutely in this here. Couple touches away. It's gonna be 
Sentinel coming in has the hard drive available, has X Factor as well to cancel. Oh, and jumping heavy, okay. Doom able to block on the same side, tries to go for the dash down medium. Evasion in there, almost able to cancel that. So he tries to convert. Oh, and he gets him the one hit of the medium into the jab. It's all you need for Doom. Oh no, but another crucial drop. And Tudamax, it's all just up to execution here. He has enough to kill. Okay, didn't even need any loops. Just kills him in one. To the max, playing from the west coast here, playing that long distance connection, no problems though. The heavy coach Steve kind of in trouble here. Game. Oh, and just standing medium, one hit, no cancel, no nothing. To avoid the tackle, the shield actually hits from behind, but he's able to evade. And the one thing that's really hurting Coach Steve here is the drones call from To The Max. It stopped him twice from doing his little trick there with the, uh, yeah, just like that. Oh, and he actually reaction standing mediums that and vamps the meter here for Coach. He might have to resort to the raw tag, and he does. Oh, not able to convert though, even though the hard pack did combo. To The Max relentless now with the pressure. Oh. Coach Steve didn't have any meter to find another way out of that situation there. Had to try to continue the combo. Ran right in the drones to the max, taking advantage here. He didn't want to waste his X Factor there. But uh, de X Factor defensively, when you're already in a defensive position, can be so typical. Oh, almost, almost works out for Coach Steve. If he did, he'd have been the genius. Yeah, it was such a smart idea that didn't quite happen, but still gets him on the rocket punch. Oh, and Tudamax's defense until the end, just the crouching medium is the one to win it. All right, looks like x Factor to save Pixel Health Nova here. Really paid off for Coach Steve. He's gonna take a lot of damage on that. Okay, oh, the, the raw S. Oh, and Coach somehow manages to turn that mix up from Tudamax into his own, but the, again, dude, the field goal kick, Tudamax. Oh, kicks a 60-yarder with Doom's metal suit. That was a painful drop 